Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So now we are going to discuss about how individual peak from the GCMS analysis can be identified yeah, and detected So here, I open one of the GCMS software, we call it Enhanced Data Analysis Okay, So from one of the data that I open, we can find out that or we can identify there are four peaks yeah? or we can say that four compounds has been detected how have been detected however these four compound doesn't indicate their names here okay in order to do that we can identify the mass spectra of each uh, peak or each uh, compound by double click here so you can see here this is we call the mass spectra okay so from this uh, result uh, we can say that there are uh, so many fragmentation of the first peak. Okay, so this number one seven zero point three one five eight eight point point eight is the mass yeah, detected from this uh, from this first peak. Okay, same goes to the second peak. Yeah, you can see one four five uh, one five four one five eight. Yeah, this one as well 188.2 okay but remember as we know the GCMS uh, has been developed with the uh, a vast um, compound so many compounds has been registered uh, to the system okay so we can uh, refer to the library in this case I just open this uh, select library I choose NIST 11 library where this uh, library we purchase on uh, version 2011 okay and then we can click here library search report and then click screen so the software will identify four compounds here one two three four okay okay the five we have to check where is it referring to Okay. okay because of this one 8.947 however we just focus on this four yeah this most significant one 5.278 the compound is dodecane yeah. 6.431 is biphenyl 7.737 is 11 biphenyl for chloro or four chloro 11 biphenyl and the last one not this one eh? we go to 9.77 minutes okay so this is the compound of uh, hexadecanoic acid metal ester so another one that i want to share is about the x-axis this x-axis is referring to the uh, retention time of each peak okay in this uh, retention time it is referring to minutes yeah so at 5.278 minutes of retention time dodecane was eluted okay and for 6.431 minute okay at the at this minute biphenyl compound is eluted or was eluted and on the y-axis it is the abundance indicate that how much uh, the compound is collected yeah, uh, uh, or presence or exists in this uh, mixture of sample okay that's all thank you very much and we shall go to uh, application of the GCMS afterwards.